Hola amigos amigas, vlog time. Hair time, vlog time. Anyway, I'm coming at you without my bottom teeth still because I thought I was gonna get them. It didn't happen. I'm chronicling that in my Seattle travel series. So you can watch that in my vlog playlist here. I was trying to hold off on taping until I got my teeth, but there's really no holding off because I'm on another timeline as well. And that being that I'm getting hand surgery on Wednesday. That's what, four days from now? And one of my concerns being a curly girl is what am I gonna do with my hair? How am I gonna be able to do my hair? Cause this hand, I don't know. I've had conflicting information from my doctor and her nurse. One of them was saying that, oh no, you can't get your hand worked. The other one's like, oh no, it should be okay because of the way it's going to be neatly bandaged up in the splint, whatever. But I still, it's going to be really hard to do my hair because I refresh every day. I do the L LOC method. I put a styler in, scrunch, diffuse. The whole process can take about an hour. My hair feels so good. And so I just wanted to have that portion of my life be made a little easy so i'm getting braids put in today i've never done that before it's a protective style that i've opted for for isabel my stylist suggestion and i have like a whole really cool in-depth video from when isabel cut my hair and you can view that here so i have a bag full of hair and you can watch the video on this whole process because i had to soak the hair in apple cider vinegar to make sure i remove all the chemicals from it and then i also had to deep condition the hair and let it out to dry and then that, my whole thing was like how am i gonna take it to my appointment so i have it in this bag so all of that and how i did what i did why i did what i did is in a video that you can view here and so today i'm getting my hair braided and isabel told me to pretty much wash my hair deep condition and i did so i also did my k18 treatment because i do that mid month once a month mid month so i shampooed my hair did k18 left it in for four minutes after that, I deep conditioned. After deep conditioning, Isabel said the only thing I should put in my hair is a leave-in. A leave-in alone is not enough to give my hair moisture. It's very high porosity and here's where I understand my hair and this is how you would have to factor in the understanding of your hair into the process that you would use to make sure that your hair is moisturized going into the process. So knowing what I know about my hair, the LOC method is key. But basically, I'm not supposed to put any stylers. I don't know if I was supposed to put oil, but one time prepping my hair, I think I'm okay. So I did my leave-in all of these products by Sultanicals, the Not Sauce by Sultanicals. And then I went in with the Kink Sink oil, which is amazing as my oil in the lock method. And then for the C, I did go in with a cream because I think she just meant to leave in, but I'm not gonna can't. So I did my leave in, my oil, and for the C in the lock method, the cream, I used Marula Muru Moisture Guru. Oh, I also put my Chi Thermal Protector Silk Infusion, but Silk Infusion is technically thought of as a reparative leave-in so if they're calling it a leave-in a heat protecting leave-in i'm like hey it qualifies so i put that in there too and my hair feels amazing and i'm just really shocked that it looks like this without a styler i had no idea my hair did that what have i even needed to use a styler then this is so weird but anyway my hair feels so soft and so incredible i'm honestly going to miss having my curls out i'm not used to it i'm not really good at having anything on my head i don't like to wear hats i don't like to put my hair up i don't like to do hairdos and hairstyles my hair i'm just strictly wash and go so we'll see it might take me some getting used to psychologically it'll be cool to have a different look but I tend to get sick of different looks after a day or two, so we'll see how I do. I never thought I'd be getting a protective style. I never had any plans to get a protective style, but I'm mainly doing it out of necessity. I'm heading out with my daughter, who's getting her hair cut by Isabel, and then I'm getting my hair braided by Isabel. So we're on our way to Hair of the Gods! I almost forgot my hair, but I brought it, but we're a half hour early, so we might go get like a quick bite to eat or something, and then come back. And now we're back. I'm gonna film a little bit of the entrance like last time. If you saw my last video, you will know where I am. See the door. That's where the magic happens. Are you okay? Yeah. What? Yeah. So we're 
here. She's running a little late, so we're waiting. But look how beautiful. I'm gonna save a little bit. So our appointment is starting and she's getting a haircut. She's going first. So this is our official before. And we'll see her after. I can't wait to see. Then I get my brain. When I was little, we went to Switzerland, how old was I? 12? My brother had just died, and my family wanted to get away, so they took us to Switzerland, and we were walking in the streets of Geneva, and I bumped into this really tall man, and I'm like, oh my god, it was James Bond, you know, the actor. Are you kidding me, Roger, Roger Moore. And he said, excuse me, and I was like, oh, James Bond, James Bond. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was like the most exciting thing for me. Yeah, because it's like James Bond. I know, my god, my family's like, you're lying. I'm like, James Bond, James Bond. I bumped into James Bond. That is awesome. That was so, so cool. What's happened was uh, uh, what is Donald Sotomayor oh. in New York. What's his name? Yeah, you get out of here, he's really nice and he speaks perfect French. Oh, wow, really? Oh, because he's yeah, Canadian. Cause I, could not, uh, I could not speak English at the airport. I wasn't learning English. Then it's from like, Canada. I just shaved my head. I'm like, get it now. And uh, he went like that. Like, wow. I don't think he wanna go out like that. I said, why is that? <laughs> he said, because you're bold. <laughs> and I was like, bold? He said, um, he went like, des cheveux sans, sans rasé. And uh, I, I went like, oh, you speak French, but I didn't know who was. Yeah. I didn't know who was. His wife was waiting for him in the car. And he said, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I, I told him where I'm going to go. He said, okay, I will open the door for you. Oh, see. No, because he knew it. Yeah. I would step back. Yeah. <laughs> he opened the door with a biggest smile in his face. <laughs> and his hair like really white. But the move I just saw of him, yeah. they make him look really old. Yeah. But in person, he looked really young. Yeah. Oh, and interesting. That was, yeah, that's literally, I was like, and I was like, in my head, I'm like getting out of myself. I was like, who do I know this guy? Yeah. And my ex husband was yes. coming, picking me up. And then, and he went like, he, and then I back up. I was like, oh my God, because I felt the wind yeah. in my head. I was like, that is cold. Yeah. <laughs> and he said to me, I told you so. <laughs> That is funny. And, uh, and he said to me, I told you so, you're not supposed to go out like that, you need a hat. And then I was like, where do I know you? That is so funny. <laughs> he, he said to me, I don't know. <laughs> that is so funny. But I think they like it when people don't recognize them, you know? Oh, they feel but like the, one, the funny, the one told I me mean, he was really cool. <coughs> yeah. He, he literally was like, this girl probably don't know her. I'm just gonna be like, <coughs> but he was really friendly though. And then my uh, ex-husband approached me with like, 
This is Donald Soto Lounge. <laughs> but in a really like it because he's really, he's a financer. Yeah. Look at the guy. Yeah. Really smart ahead. And I'm just like, even like, this is Donald Soto Lounge. And then Willie come and he said, the pleasure, who is the pleasure I'm talking to? And uh, my husband went, like, I'm Francois. And he said, hey, he said, message me too. <laughs> and then I was like, where did I know him? And he went like in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is so funny. I was like, get out. Well, I'm not gonna ask for your autograph because I feel like it's too much. He said, this is a smart lady. And I was like, nobody will you gonna believe in me. He said, they probably will not. But <laughs> that is sweet. Baby, oh. <laughs> I know, I love that. Wow. Yes. This is a nice woman. Zoom out. You're a good luck, guys. Thank you. I'm her daughter. That's I love it. That's you said that you're related. <laughs> 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 I'm trying. Like Nike Jack. That's, that's <laughs> Mysterious curls with the dark eyes over here. She did that for mom <laughs> details. You got your mom's eyes. I never really properly capped off this whole experience with Isabel. I'm at the end of this box weight journey for now, this round, because I think that in two, three days, I'm going to take it out. But I never really gave a final 
wrap up to the experience with Isabel. It was amazing, amazing. It's long, it takes a long while, but I was in good company. It was fun to be with her, with her baby and to hold him. It felt a little tight in the beginning, but that's normal. The thing that I feel so fortunate about is Isabel's touch is pure magic. It is not very tight. And like she pointed out, she's a mom to a baby boy. So she knows how to braid kids hair and it has to be comfortable for children. It can't be very tight. So she has that magic touch. As she was saying, when she was younger, her mom used to braid her hair and would do it so tight that she started taking over and doing her own hair since the age of eight. And again, not too tight because she knows what it feels like when it's too tight. So thankfully i didn't have to go through an experience where it was killing me it's just normal to feel that it might be a little tight when you going from your hair being free flowing to having box braids or whatever other type of protective style that you put in but after a few nights i got used to it and initially it's very stiff and so i found that after i washed my hair for the first time and conditioned it and put, applied leave-in conditioner and as it was drying it became so malleable and so soft and so much more flexible and it felt more natural that now it just really feels like my own hair so now i understand after having gone through this experience why people are addicted to it Isabel kept saying be careful to not get addicted to it i'm worried that i am already addicted to it because i love the look of the long hair on me i'm gonna miss it i kind of feel insecure now about taking it down and how am i gonna like myself with my own hair again <laughs> so this has been an incredible incredible experience i'm so thankful that it was with isabel at the helm her choice of hair color was right on point it looks super super absolutely natural i've had a lot of compliments on the color choice kudos go to isabel because she actually chose them i wanted to just go with all white and she's like no that's gonna be crazy you need to make it natural and she was absolutely right it looks really good i feel really good and that's it more on the whole braid journey coming up in upcoming videos with products that I used it's not the most in-depth because I didn't have teeth <laughs> as you know from watching me earlier on camera even though I was masked most of the time so next time I do this because there will be a next time at least once a year I think I'm gonna do this there will be more to speak of and try and experience and fine-tune and maybe I won't do braids maybe I'll do something else I'll leave that up to Isabel that's it thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and for following along the journey with me if you're more experienced in this element of the hair journey any tips and tricks and advice you have to give or just experiences that you want to share are very much welcome so please comment below and thank you for tuning in if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more and i hope to see you in my next one ciao for now